This is your teacher Jenny and once again we will be talking about another topic and this time it's writing standard equation and this one is in a quicker way. So how do we write our standard equation once we are given with different scenarios? So let's start with the so let us have now our given information for the vertices and the covertices. We are going to write the standard equation based on those two given. So first, we are going to know the orientation of our ellipse based on the given. And then we also have to find the center. And then we also have to find our A so that we can have our A squared. We also need a B so that we can have our B squared. So those information are, informations are needed. So first, let's try to identify the orientation. So the orientation here will be most likely going to be looking forward to the vertices or the foci as to what will be the orientation of the vertices or the foci. So since we are given here the vertices, we are to identify first what will be the orientation of the vertices here, whether it's vertical or horizontal. So let's start with this one here. So for the vertices, we've got here 0 on x. And if you notice the other, the, the other point here on the vertex, we've got also the same value as zero. So meaning to say that on our x uh, value, we've got the same value. So if you've got the same value, you are to look at the other coordinate, whether they are different, because that would somehow tell us what will be the orientation. The different values are on y. We have here 5 and then negative 5. So meaning to say that our vertex, that changes from, uh, I mean, from one vertex to the other vertex, that changes vertically because that changes on our y. So our orientation here is vertical. And then uh, finding our center, if you try to look at this, we are just going to look at what value is common between the points. So we have here 0 on x, 0 on x also on the other vertex. So we are going to copy that one here as our x value. And then on the y value, we just have to get the different values, 5 and then negative 5. Have it added and then divided by 2. This is 0 and then divided by 2, that is equal to 0. So our y here is 0, so the center is at 0, 0. So next one, we don't have an a. So a will be coming from our vertices. Because our a here, we can associate our a as a distance from the center to a vertex. Or you can have that one as a twice. Uh, or that will be our twice of the maximum length, I mean, twice of our distance from the center to the vertex, that is the maximum, I mean, the length of the, the major axis. If you are going to divide that by two, we can also find our A. So what I'm trying to say here is, you can either start from the center, go into one vertex of your choice, or you can have from the vertex to the other vertex, you get the distance of that one. So if I'm going to choose on center to one vertex, let's say 0, 5. So from the center, we have here 0 and then 0 as well on one vertex as the x value. So they are the same. Now what I'm trying to say here is when you are going to get the distance, uh, using a shortcut way, you are going to identify what values are different when it comes to the coordinate of the vertex and the center. So the, the value there is the 0 and 5 on y. So we will be subtracting those two. So we have 0 minus 5. That will be equal to negative 5. That will be uh, the value of our a, once we try to drop down our negative or once we have to get the absolute value of that one, which is equal to 5. So that will be our uh, unit from the center to our vertex. Or if you wanted to make use of the vertices, so if you try to look at this, we've got the same value on x. So meaning to say we will be just looking at our uh, value on which are different. So we have here 5, and then we subtract that by negative 5. That will be equal to negative 10. 
I mean positive 10, sorry, that. So we have this one as 5 minus negative 5. That will lead to a 5 plus 5. That will be equal to 10. Now take note, this is the distance from the vertex to another vertex, which is our length of the major axis, which is equivalent to 2a. So meaning to say our 10 there is 2a. We divide that by 2 to get our a. Our a here is equal to 5. So see, they are the same. So meaning to say we've got now our a which is equal to 5. So our a squared here is 25. And then we are going to look for our b. Our b there can be related to our uh, co-vertices. So that will be now the b is the distance from the center to a co-vertex. So if you are to follow that definition, then we will be starting off with the center. We are to choose one vertex here. I mean, one co-vertex, may it be this one here. And again, finding the distance from the center to that vertex, we just have to look at those values that are different. So we have here on Y, we have the same value. On X, we have different values. So those are the numbers that we are going to subtract. So from the center, we have zero on Y. And then on the, the co-vertex, we have three on X, sorry, that was uh, X by the way. And then once we subtract that one, that will be equal to negative three. Again, we drop down the negativity and that will be equal to three because we're talking about number of units. So that will always be positive. So this is now three. And then if you try to check on covertex to covertex, you would know that that is also equal to three. So we have now B, so we have now B squared as nine. We are now ready to write our standard equation. So since that is vertical, so that will be X minus H squared over B squared. Notice that is now B squared because that is vertical. So we have plus Y minus K squared over A squared. That will be equal to one. So plugging in, we've got X here and then minus h, h is zero, so that will become x squared over b squared, which is nine plus our y minus k. Our k there is zero, so that should be also y squared over our a squared is 25, and that's equal to one. So this is now our standard equation of our ellipse. So next one we have here, vertices at negative 10, five, and negative 10, negative 5, foci at negative 10, negative, I mean 4, and then negative 10, negative 4. So first, we are going to identify first those important things that we need in writing our standard equation. First, we need the orientation. And then next, we need the center. And then next, we need our A so that we can have our A squared and B so that we can have our B squared. So let's start off with... Uh, identifying the orientation. So based on either foci or the vertices, the, the same value here lies on X. So meaning to say we'll base our orientation on the Y here. So this is now vertical. Next, we are going to look for the center. So since our uh, X value on the vertices are the same, so we are going to add our Y values that are different. So we have five and then negative five. And then we are to divide this one by two. And that will be equal to zero over two, which is equal to zero. This is our Y. So on the center, we have the same value on the vertices, which is negative 10. And then we copy the value zero here on Y. So this is now our center. Next one, we are going to look for our A. Our A here will be based on the vertices. This is the distance from the center going to the one vertex. So either negative 10, 5 or negative 10, negative 5. So I'll be choosing this one first. And then I'll be looking for the distance between the center and that vertex. So on the center, we have negative 10. On the vertex, we have negative 10, which is the same. So again, we'll be focusing on the values that are different. So we are focusing on Y. So on the center, we have Y value, which is zero. On the vertex, we have five. So we will be subtracting that one to get the value of A. So zero minus five, that is negative five. Drop down the negativity. Our A here is five. So A is five, A squared is 25. So next we are going to look for our B. 
Now, since we don't have our B, we are going to make use for our distance from the center to the focus or from the foci to another, I mean, from the focus to another focus. So I'll be uh, looking for a C value here from the center to one focus. So here, we've got negative 10, 0 on the center on one focus. If I'm using this one here, we've got negative 10, 4 in which the center uh, x value and the focus x value are the same. So finding for C, we are just going to subtract the value of Y on the center, which is 0, and then also the Y value of the focus, which is 4. This is now equal to negative 4, which is equal to 4 once we try to drop down the negative. So we have our C, which is equal to 4. Our C squared here is equal to 16. Now, since we have our A squared and C squared, we are now going to look for our B squared. So looking for B squared, we are going to follow the formula A squared minus C squared. So B squared now is equal to A squared, which is 25 minus our C squared, which is 16. So our B squared here is equal to 9. So this is now our B squared. So we have now our B squared. We don't need to look for the B, but then if you wanted really to know the B, get the square root of 9 and that's 3. So we are now ready to write our uh, standard equation based on the orientation, which is vertical. So x minus h squared plus I mean over that is vertical so we have b squared under that one plus y minus k squared over a squared and then that will be equal to one so plugging in we've got that one as x minus our h there is negative 10 so this will become a plus 10 squared over b squared which is 9 plus y minus 0 because our k value on the center there is zero so this will become y squared over our a squared which is 25 and that's equal to one so that is now our standard equation of our ellipse okay next one we have here covertices at negative one five negative one negative 19 and then we have also the foci which is 4, negative 7, negative 6, negative 7. So let's start. We need information on the orientation. And then we need information on the center. And then we need information on A so that we can have A squared. B so that we can have our B squared. So let's start looking for our orientation. So we are to base that one on the false side here because we don't have a vertex or a vertices so we have here four and a negative six on x they are not the same so that means to say that this is horizontal now notice that on our y value we have the same value for that one so we are correct to say that that should be horizontal next we go for the center if you are to use the center on the covertices you will have the same value on our um foci as well so if i'm going to use the foci in finding the center we have the different values are four and then we're adding negative six in here we're dividing that one by two this will be now equal to negative two over two that is equal to negative one so that will be our value on x so on the center we have negative one and then we have negative seven on our y so next, we are going to identify our A. So since we don't have the vertices, we cannot identify yet our A. But we have the covertices, so we are going to look for B. So looking for B, we are going to consider uh, getting the distance from the center to a covertex. I'll be using this one here. So from the center, we have negative 1, negative 7. Negative 1 is the same as the negative 1 on x on the covertex. So that means to say I'll be concentrating on negative 7. And then 
uh, 5. So we will be subtracting negative 7 by negative 5. So negative 7 minus 5, that is negative 12. That is equal to, once we drop down our negative sign, our B there is 12. So B is 12. So that means to say that our B squared is 144. So we will be looking for C because we have the false high. So looking for C, we have different values are for a negative 6. If you are going to use the focus to focus. But if I'm going to use the center and the fo focus, I'll be using this one here and then the center. So on the center, we have the same value on the y, which is negative 7. So I'll be focusing on negative 1 as the x value of the center minus our x value of the focus, which is 4. This is equivalent to negative 5. So meaning to say that our c here is 5. So our c squared there is 25. So finding our a squared, this is now equal to... Uh, b squared plus c squared and this will be now equivalent to once we plug in b squared b squared here is 144 plus our 25 our a squared here is equal to 169 so since we have now the a squared and the b squared we are now going to write our standard equation. So we have here horizontal. So we have x minus h squared over a squared. That's plus y minus k squared over b squared equal to 1. So our x minus our h there, which is negative 1. So this will become a plus 1. And then squared over a squared, which is 169 plus y minus our k, which is negative 7 so that will become a plus 7 and then squared over b squared which is 144 that will be equal to 1 so this is our standard equation of our ellipse now i hope that you've learned something from me so please always remember to practice and practice so that you will be able to remember the process because the process is a repetition